Welcome to the CA Performance Management video dashboards and context pages. One of CA Performance Management's core strengths is the ability to present high-scale performance data in a way that enables quick assessment of infrastructure health. The product is designed to allow for data visualization which can range from significant portions of the environment down to individual devices or components. This video examines dashboards and context pages, visual representations used by CA Performance Management to display broad and targeted data context respectively. CA Performance Management offers visualization of data in one of two ways, across a group of devices using dashboards as seen here, and focused on a single device or component using context pages such as this one. Together, dashboards and context pages serve as the windows into your collected performance data, identifying problem areas and revealing trends and patterns. Both dashboards and context pages are composed of individual panels called views. First, let's have a closer look at dashboards. Dashboard reporting in CA Performance Management is designed around one of its main design concepts, the hierarchical grouping model. An example group hierarchy is shown here. It is geographically based breaking the United States into broad regions, those regions of the states, and finally the states into cities. Switching over to a dashboard, you can vary the scope of your dashboard by using the group context change icon near the upper left corner, then selecting nodes at various levels of the group tree. Here, we're narrowing the scope from the entire USA to New York State. This powerful mechanism allows for a drill-down workflow to isolate problems and also enables correct data scoping for the current CA performance management user or for the recipients of dashboard generated reports. Changing dashboards, we can see that the group context is maintained across dashboard changes. Dashboard context changes apply to all views contained in the dashboard, although each view can be configured to have a fixed pin context which takes precedence. Another important way to control the scope of the dashboard is in the time dimension. This is done by using the time range change icon near the upper right corner. You can see that the resultant dropdown offers a number of automatic ranges. Last hours, days or months, previous day, week or month, and current day, week or month. If none of these ranges fit your needs, the ability to specify a custom range is available. Here, we'll widen the time frame from the last hour to the last 24 hours. Setting the time range allows the user to inspect recent data, perhaps in response to an immediate problem, or to examine the data from a broader historical perspective to highlight trends or to project future capacity needs. Changing the dashboard, we can see that, like the group context, the selected time range persists when changing dashboards. Individual views can also be configured to have their own fixed time range, which supersedes the dashboard time range. A dashboard's time range controls the default resolution of its data. Here, the last hour dashboard time range has resulted in as-polled resolution for the shown trend table view. Resolutions include as-polled or rate data and the aggregate hourly, daily, and weekly values which are calculated every corresponding period in a process called roll-up. Roll-ups calculate a sum for counter metrics and an average for gauge metrics. Now let's change the dashboard time range to the last 24 hours. This changes the view resolution to hourly. For the trend graph, an hourly resolution means that each data point represents an hour of aggregated data. Note that aggregation in C performance management is not limited to data spread out over time. It is also used to merge multiple values within a device, such as CPU utilization, and to combine metric values within a group. Minimums and maximums are also part of the roll-up process and allow you to observe the upper and lower bounds of performance across a given time interval. Here, this gauge view shows the minimum average and maximum of a device's hourly aggregate CPU utilization. Another feature of dashboard views is the ability to recognize and report on business hours, which are times of the day and week of increased importance. Here, business hours are emphasized on this trend table view by both shading and in the heading. 
While dashboards are designed around CA Performance Management's grouping model, context pages allow a detailed look at an individual device or component. Context pages are frequently accessed via hyperlink from a dashboard and tailor their data based on the type of item they are reporting on. This context page is reporting on a router and, like all context pages, supports a multi-tab format, which appears on the left-hand side of the page. Simply click on a tab to change the content of the context page. Like dashboards, context pages are composed of views and support most of the same features such as timeframes, dynamic data resolution, and business hours. CA Performance Management offers several ways to export data. Both dashboard and context pages can be printed or emailed, the latter on a scheduled basis, and individual views can be exported into CSV files. More advanced features are also supported, such as an open API interface, which allows for highly definable and targeted data extraction and an integration with CA Business Intelligence to generate reports using the Jasper Reports reporting engine. For more detailed information about the CA Performance Management dashboards and context pages, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit CA Communities, or see the learning path.